Hello, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is your weekly tarot reading for the week of May 22nd to the 28th. We have Luna helping us out today. She's also a Cancer, so she's like trying to be a part of this reading, I guess. So first you have the heart of the sky coming out in reverse for you. This is what it looks like upright. Your energy oracle is strategy this week. And you have get more information coming in from the angels. The heart of the sky in reverse is a sad kind of card that kind of explains that you might have been feeling recently that you have to be responsible for everyone and everything. And if you aren't responsible for it, it's just not going to get done. This is like trying, feeling like you have to manifest every single dollar that you come by. Feeling like you have to manifest every single task that needs to be done in your home. You have to tell everyone to do everything, delegate everything, or do it yourself or else it's not going to get done heart of the sky in reverse feels like we're on our own it feels like you're losing trust you're losing faith in the cosmos and it is a false type of prison that you put yourself in thinking that you're alone thinking that you have to work super hard to manifest everything on your own so we're starting out this week kind of in a dark place mentally and I feel like the theme, the spiritual theme of this week is actually breaking out of that and learning how to trust that the universe will provide, that you're not on your own. And in just an instant, your entire life can change. Whole doorways into new realities can open for you the second you let go of this idea that you have to do everything on your own. You have to manifest every little thing about your life on your own. That's your spiritual lesson for this week. Strategy coming out is really interesting as well. We see here an increased focus on creating short-term plans to reach your long-term goals, getting really organized, putting pen to paper, and kind of scheduling out your work schedule I'm seeing for a lot of you, or like responsibilities in a way that you, you just feel really clear-minded and you have a really good structure, a really good idea of what your schedule needs to look like in order to manifest the things that you want to manifest. And you're kind of, so for example, say you're trying to manifest love, you're thinking to yourself, okay, every Friday night I will go on a first date. And you have this very organized, strategic approach of reaching whatever goal it is that you have and you're getting really grounded in it. I see you kind of in your Capricorn energy even though you're a Cancer. I feel you taking on a lot of Capricorn type of traits this week, I'm trying to figure it out. Also the number 24 or the number 21 might be important. So this is for the week of May 22nd to the 28th. And I do wonder if on the 24th, which I believe the 22nd is a Monday, then that Wednesday, this Wednesday might be a significant day for you in terms of seeing that you really aren't on your own and sometimes the universe moves for you. So this on that day, on that Wednesday, you could have events unfolding kind of out of the blue, out of nowhere, unexpected money, unexpected opportunities, offers, advancements, um, generosity from other people, blessings coming through that Wednesday uh, could be significant. Also on the 21st, the day before this week begins, that Sunday, uh, you may have some of the same kind of karmic faded events unfolding. So I, I really do think this week is super significant for you um, in terms of remembering and learning that you are on your own. And this is a really good week, especially if you're single, I feel, or just feeling like you have so much responsibilities on your plate. I, I just feel like you're getting really clear-minded, organized, and like something's coming in that will help you It'll ease a lot of your worries. It'll ease a lot of your struggles. I don't know what that is. We'll get the tarot out to see some more information. But speaking of getting more information, you literally have the card from the angels, get more information. I, this is a card of learning more, talking more, asking more. If there's anything that you're apprehensive about, um, say if it's about a person, go ahead and ask them. The get more information card is saying, don't be afraid to ask. Uh, it's also saying if you have a question or you're confused about something in your life and you're asking the spirit guides, what is the outcome of the situation? Get more information is a sign of there's more that needs to be developed in order for you to get clear answers on this question, okay? So there's more that needs to happen here. So if it's involving another person, there may be a conversation that's uh, gonna be had. Maybe this person is gonna tell you something. Maybe they're gonna reach out to you. Uh, if it's about getting a new job, this is get more information would be telling you uh, have a strategy, apply to jobs every single day, have a nice little routine, a nice little strategy to reach your career goals, your personal goals, get more information 
on how to update your routine, if that makes sense. So get yourself into a routine of success. If your goal is to be ripped, for example, your strategy might be going to the gym and working out five days a week, but get more information is saying, really study up and learn on proper technique, proper form, uh, what kind of nutrients you need in your system, get some blood work done, get more information on it. So that way, once you have your routine in place, you can increase your knowledge and increase the quality of that routine. Does that make sense? That's kind of what I'm seeing here for you. Upgrading uh, your routine in some way that will help you reach your goals. And I'm seeing a lot of help from the universe in general when it comes to reaching your goals. When it comes to your life in general, I, I feel so many blessings coming through for you this week. So let's get the tarot. This week, this week we are using the good tarot, one of my favorite decks. And we'll get nine cards, three rows of three to get specific information about what you will be going through this week, okay? So first card out, we have the five of water. There was a recent loss in your life. I've been feeling this for the past three or so weeks for cancer, okay? So I, I don't know if this is you dealing with someone from your past who's returning or if you went through recent heartbreak or kind of like lost someone, something made a move. There's some energy here of kind of still being stuck in the past, still resolving past issues. Okay, I'm just being honest with you. If it was in reverse, I would say you're finally overcoming those past issues, but I'm not getting a bad feeling from this card. Uh, and to me, this is seemingly correlating with the get more information card as well. So if there was like a past debate, dispute, or person in your life, there may be some more of that story unfolding for you this week. And I feel like that's where the get more information card comes in because it's like your spirit guides are saying like more answer answers will come through for you in within the situation. More clarity is coming through for you in this situation. You're still kind of healing and letting go of this. Okay. There's still some more, more healing, more to understand that comes from this loss. Does that make sense? So it's like, I'm seeing that you lost someone, something, you might've had a breakup, might've lost a job, but right now you're in the state of separation and you're still integrating the wisdom that that ending has brought up. So beautiful stuff. It's not a negative card that I'm seeing. Although I wouldn't be surprised if there is still some mourning um, involved with that transition. We have the queen of fire in reverse. Yeah, okay. I'm kind of viewing this as you, but this could also be someone in your life. Queen of Fire is someone who has a really passionate goal in mind. And it is again, correlating with the strategy card and even the color scheme kind of matches each other, the glowiness you see. So in reverse, I just feel like there may be some frustration from you feeling like you have to manifest every single cent that you earn, every single thing that comes your way, every blessing that comes your way. And I feel like that's where this is coming out in reverse. Spirit's really saying you need to get out of that mindset and start looking for the miracles that the universe brings you, looking for the blessings that are coming in for no reason at all. Okay, when you start focusing on that, more of that will come. I, feel, I almost feel like the universe is trying to get you to manifest more help from the universe. And in order to do that, you have to pay attention to the unexpected blessings and things that go your way. When you keep your eyes on that, more of it can unfold via the law of attraction. But right now you're in this kind of negative mindset of feeling like you have to do absolutely everything and that's what's preventing your success. It's very spiritual. We have the messenger of water coming up as well. It fell out for you. This is a new opportunity coming through that will make you, it'll make your heart sing is what I'm seeing, okay? So this could be a conversation with a loved one. This could be those unexpected blessings that we were seeing, unexpected creative ideas that take off. Okay, messenger of water could also be a new person coming in for you, who's very, and it would be a very new situation, new conversation, a new fresh start with someone is what I usually pick up with the messenger of water. It's something small that has the potential to grow into something really big. Mmm, interesting. <laughs> okay, we're gonna get the second row. Lots of emotions going on for you this week. So I wouldn't be surprised if there's emotional conversations going on. Emotional healing. Hanged man coming out. Number 12 may be important as well. 
in some way, shape, or form. And that's right underneath the Five of Water. And again, it's reinstating that message that we had of there's something about your past here. There's something about something that has ended. And it's not quite time for you to move on. It feels like it's not quite time for you to just walk away entirely. I feel like there's more healing that will come from reflecting on what happened here. The hanged man is showing you being in suspension with an emotional situation because it's under the five of water. Feeling like you can't move on from the past or feeling like the past keeps revisiting you. And there's more to unfold there. There's more to learn from this situation. Interesting, very interesting. And I love how he's looking up at the five of water. To me, it feels like either you or someone in your life is having a hard time moving on, okay? So you could have someone from your past who's really like thinking about you a lot, reaching out a lot, and them kind of reaching out or even just thinking about you, that triggers energy being sent through your shared energy cord. And you can pick up on that and then it can kind of prevent you from moving on as well. Interesting. Interesting stuff. All right. Let's get the center of your energy, center of the spread for you this week. We have the king of earth in reverse. Wow. This is a person right underneath the queen of fire here. I, I wouldn't be surprised if, again, you guys went through some type of breakup, some type of separation, and you're kind of like trying to navigate that now for some reason. The king of earth in reverse kind of can show some... I don't want to say selfish behavior, but... <laughs> I and I, I feel like it's selfish behavior on both you and the and maybe someone else in your life. But it's I I'm I'm getting this very specific vision here of like you manifested someone in your life acting selfishly because you refuse to act selfishly and your spirit guides are saying you need to be acting more selfishly you need to be pouring more of your energy more of your strategy into your own well-being into your own glowiness this is a common problem in cancers okay anyone with strong cancer placements you give all of your love all of your energy all of your time to the people around you sometimes especially if you're romantically involved with them and i'm kind of seeing here a situation where you were like all in with someone and really giving this relationship your all it might have not worked out or they might have betrayed in some way or it just didn't work out in some for some reason um they could have acted a little bit selfishly whenever that relationship was happening and the king of earth in reverse is kind of i don't know it's th it's the universe saying like you were a vibrational match for that type of behavior because you yourself need to take on more selfishness, not in a, in, in a negative way, but it's like you're giving all of your energy to someone else and you're pouring all of your energy into them and then they're pouring it into themselves as well. I don't know. There, there's still a lesson to be learned here, a karmic lesson to be learned from this separation. And Spirit's saying like, you're not gonna properly move on until you learn that karmic lesson, until you pour that energy into yourself, into your own well-being, strategize your personal life as an individual so that you can derive great happiness, joy, and success on your own. What major problems do you have in your life that cannot be solved through another person. That's what you should be focusing on right now. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Crazy. Okay. Sixth card out. Lots of karmic stuff going on here. The wheels of fate are turning. We have the ten of fire. Lots of responsibility. Yeah, it's that feeling of why, why, is thing, why are things moving so slowly? And why do I feel like I have to do everything on my own? The Ten of Fire is the Ten of Wands. You see how she's juggling like 10 different things that are on fire? I guess she's like a magician. It's a lot for her mind to focus on. Your, your mind is spread so thin right now because you feel like you have so much responsibility in your life. I'm, I'm seeing like responsibility of caring for your home and living environment, responsibility caring for your mental health, responsibility. I'm seeing stress around work and finances, particularly next to the King of Earth. And also even in like relationships, you're starting to manifest this because it is under the messenger of water. But I don't know. I just keep getting this, this message of spirit wants to send you blessings. So start paying attention to the unexpected blessings, blessings that happen not only for you, but for other people. And notice how the universe acts in beautiful ways. Acknowledge that. Put your attention on how easy it could be 
to receive unexpected blessings. And I feel like you will manifest more of it once you do that. Beautiful message. Okay, final row of this week, seventh card out. We have the page of air, two pages both upright. New, new, new beginnings coming through after feeling stuck on the past. Page of air is a new direction, a new start in life. I love the energy of pages. Also new communication, fresh communication coming in. I don't know if this is from someone from your past or if this is from someone new. It, it seems to me that the energies are kind of blended. So this could be a situation where you or someone else is leaving the past behind, like actively dealing with drama from the past while starting something new simultaneously. So for example, like this could be someone going through a divorce and then they find and meet someone new that's new and exciting, but they still have to go through, you know, a whole bunch of divorce paperwork and things like that. Or like could be someone dealing with an ex and then new communication comes through. I don't know. I'm just seeing a symbol here in my mind of like past meets something new and it looks different for everyone watching so there's so many different examples of how this could come up this could be like and I almost feel like you're not supposed to know <laughs> I almost feel like you're not supposed to 100% know but if, if something resonates that you're already going through with this then by all means like comment it down below I don't know I, I just see like all disputes are being resolved. You're learning what needs to be learned from past karmic situations. And then while that's happening, new energy is coming through in two different ways. Emotionally, with the messenger of water, and this is forward movement. This is a lot of forward movement. Did I say there's two pages? I'm gonna say there's a messenger in a page. I got it confused in my mind for a second, but they both give me newness, you know? Messenger of Water shows an emotional situation developing rapidly, create creative projects um, unfolding rapidly for you this week. And then the page of air is new communication, new direction, new idea that you are running with. Interesting. All right, final two cards. Final two cards. I'm just pulling them face down. You have, oh my gosh, the Ace of Water. Guys, new love for sure coming in for a lot of you. A new fresh start with either someone who's brand new to you or someone from your past, but like all of the drama from the past is in the past. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know which group you personally fall in. You're gonna have to use your own intuition, but we're seeing a brand new start emotionally here. Also with Ace of Water, Page of Air, Messenger of Water, definitely if you're not looking to get pregnant, <laughs> you might want to watch out for that for some of you okay because there's a lot of fertility in the air I'm seeing a new project being nurtured new like just new energy new friends uh, new supporters new clients and customers whatever it is that tickles your fancy we see new love coming through something you really genuinely love there's a new fresh start for you this week and it feels so good. And then we have the Empress, guys. This is what I'm talking about. This was the lesson, you learning that lesson. This is the universe bringing in beautiful blessings for you and you don't have to move a finger, okay? This is literally just you being in the vibrational state to receive blessings. How do you get there? Everyone says that, like just make sure that you're in a state of mind where you're able to receive. Like what does that even mean? What does that even mean? People say that all the time and I don't know, it's really making a lot of sense for me in your reading in particular, so I'm glad that we're connecting today. Um, it To me, this is saying like, in order to be in a state of mind where you're able to receive blessings and beautiful new beginnings from the universe and let life move for you for once, instead of you constantly doing everything, you have to just pay attention to the blessings around you. And even in other people, if other people manifest these dramatic um, life events that really move them forward, push them forward, acknowledge that and say, I see you universe. I see you spirit. I see you God, whatever you want. You know, I'm not, uh, whatever, <laughs> whatever you want, just pay attention to those unexpected blessings that you see within other people and that you see within your own life. Even if it's something small, like you just so happen to get a really big discount on something you were going to buy or a free coffee or something. See, wow. Thank you universe. I, I see the unexpected blessings that you're sending my way. And the more you acknowledge that, the more they will come in your life because you're focused on it. And we see you develop that this week and getting into your empress state of being 
massive abundance coming through guys the universe is moving in your favor this week and the new energies that are coming in are really really great and it's coming in at a time where you may be dealing with some old energies um, of heartbreak healing uh, some type of falling out with someone or some type of argument issues there. You're healing, resolving, learning the karmic lesson from that and able to have a new fresh start, move on, new abundance, new glow. It's really beautiful, okay? Bottom of your deck energy was the nine of fire. Hang in there, guys. Don't be afraid. I feel like new blessings are coming in and you're almost afraid of losing it because you've exp experienced that in the past, but this is here to stay, so... It's exciting. Thank you guys for joining me. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Watch for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus, and I will see you for the next one. Bye-bye.